You're going to learn how to sort in Google Sheets in this video. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to sort Google Sheets in so many different ways. But first, the golden rule of sorting in Google Sheets is freeze the first row. We can scroll over to the area between the A and the 1 and click and drag to freeze the first row. We can also go up to view, freeze, one row. This is the golden rule. If we don't do this when we sort, the header row will be sorted within that. Once we've frozen the first row, if you do have headers, any column we want to sort, we can just go to the column, click the arrow, and scroll down, and we can sort the entire sheet A to Z or Z to A. We can sort it going up or down alphabetically. When you do this, it will sort the sheet based on this column that we have selected. So let's do A to Z, and we now see the A column is sorted, and everything has moved along with it. However, if we want to only sort this particular range, we need to select the column, go to Data in the menu, and we need to select Sort Range. As you can see here, Sort Sheet is also available here if you don't want to click on the downward arrow next to the column. But here we have an extra option. We can sort the range. This means only the range selected will be sorted. The rest of the sheet will remain as it is. So let's sort range column A, Z to A. If we select more than one column and go up to data, sort range, you can still see it has says sort range by column A. This is because we've selected A first. If we select B and select A then, let's go up to data, sort range. Now our sorting range is column B. So it depends on which column you select first and drag to see to select. It is going to be sorting alphabetically. This is very important to notice that sort sheet A to Z, Z to A is alphabetically. However, if we have numbers or dates, it's going to be sorting them in numerical order. Let's look at these dates. This is 10, 11, 12, 1, and 2. So if we select the D column and sort sheet A to Z, we see that the very first date is actually January 1st, then February 14th. See, the dates are in order. If we had wanted to select this holidays, and we go up to data, sort, sheet, A to Z, it will not do it chronologically, it will do it alphabetically. Going up to data, sort range, there are also some advanced range sorting options. We can mention that this data has a header row if we don't freeze our first row. We can also select either column A or column B here, even if we've so literally selected A or B first. If the data has a header row and you select it, it now shows you the sort by the header row. So this is very good if you do not remember which of the column names or numbers it is. We can also add more sort columns here. We can select first to sort by A to Z and then the holidays Z to A. Let's see what happens there. And that's what happens if there are any anywhere where it is the same, it'll then take the second column and sort it A to Z. Let's say we want to sort by the date, we'll do that. And then we want to keep this page as it is, but we want to sort, let's say by planners, A to Z on another page. I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna add a new sheet. We'll call this sort by name, and we can equals sort, and we're gonna select the range, we're gonna go back to our sorting range, we're going to select all of that. Our sort column will be one, and our ascending is gonna either be true or false. Ascending means from A to Z, so we're gonna say true. If we wanted it from Z to A, it would be false here. And now we have all of the data is sorted by the name and the original data has not been changed whatsoever. This is very good for creating summary pages or additional data analysis if you don't want to change the order of your original data. You can still sort with this sort formula. The interesting thing too is that you can add more sort columns just like we could have advanced sorting options on the other page. Here we can sort by another column and say is it ascending or descending as well. Let's say it's four and false. If there were anything that were paired up here, it would then sort by the date column. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to how to sort in Google Sheets. If you're looking for more tips, tricks, and how to's in Google Sheets and want to get more out of your Google Sheets, consider subscribing here on Better Sheets on YouTube.